What is going on everyone? My name's Boyd and I am back with some more Age Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the bottom of the map in the teal color playing as Uranus. His myth of ageology. His partner today in the red color playing as Isis is Boggs Viger and together they make a myth of Viger. <laughs> the other side, the map in the green color playing as Thor. His name's Fargo, and his partner in the blue color playing is Aranis, the son of Ayu and Raven. I can't speak. Aya and Raven. And together they make Far Yavin. Far Yavin. And it's currently 2 to 0 for Far Yavin, taking the first two games. That second game, I mean, could have been a bit of the old. Matchup issue, but I believe I've seen Son of Aya and Raven be like Aranus or Kronos every single game. What's going on here? How can you do this? How does this happen? That's absolutely insane. But it's Aranus Wars this time, not Kronos versus Aranus. Big difference. Fargo also gets his Norse. He's been playing really well with Norse this entire tournament, it looks like. So we'll see if he can utilize uh, the Thor in this game to any avail. And we do see Boggs Viger with Isis here. So we'll see what he goes for. Isis in team games is such a difficult god to play because well, it's not really difficult. It's just you have to really play with your teammate. So either your options are uh, a really aggressive classical age and you have to like build forward with it, which is difficult in team games. Uh, or you go for... Fast heroic ages and use your ancestors eclipse in conjunction with your opponent's aggression. So you have to time your heroic age with an aggressive push with your teammate. Uh, and finally, the other option is to is to um, uh, sit back and go town centers and boom and, and pray that your opponent doesn't just get run over uh, by two people. So uh, we'll see what their choice is. Here. It's an early monument here. It doesn't really tell us much. Uh, could be going for a fast flood of the Nile uh, or something like that or potentially if we see a second monument he may go for Anubites against Thor Anubites are really good but I wouldn't be surprised to see Fargo just go um, for Seti and, and try and get out all of Thane's Herso to counter the Ancestors Eclipse and, or, or just the Ancestors and the and the Anubites as well so it's a good a good uh, response to that house coming up Bob's by grabbing his forward ball nice and early like to see that one then so if we see the uh, the second monument here from Boggs of Argo, which you can afford um, right now, then that does indicate to us that it's either going to be a fast heroic with Scorpion Man, Chariot Archers, Siege Weapons, Timing Push, or a Classical Age, um, a Classical Age, a Nubai Raid a shenanigan thing. But Temple going down before second monument means that it's probably just going to be a, a, either a, a fast heroic or a second town center grab. Grabbing this early monument means you get the extra food from your... Um, let's check this out. That's researching. Prometheus for both of these plays. No surprises there, but... No, um... Actually, is that really early? No. No, it's just about right. Uh, you get the gold up, right? And you get out an early... Flood of the Nile, which is early resources to get extra food. You can advance really fast to the to the heroic age, and it's nice. Throw up a wall here. What's this wall gonna do? Protects all of this stuff that you're not gonna be gathering from. Maybe it protects these hippos. So I guess. I guess. Why not? We do see a really interesting build here from Myth of Ageology. Four villagers food. Actually, he's sending this villager to wood. No, right? he's sending it. To they're sending it to Idol. I like it. Okay, so four villagers food here from Myth of Ageology. I actually, either he's going for a fast heroic here, which it's looking like he's changing villages now. No. Going for a second town center or something? What? Myth. I'm completely lost with this. I can't I can't explain this at all. We're seeing Bast, Four Bogs, Viger, No Anubis, Shenanigans, Houses around the gold mine, nice and standard. A little bit late, but he's against Thor, so he's kind of got time to play with because Thor takes so long to get ready 
Fargo going for what looks like a five second town center here. This is um this is very open to being uh, hurt. We do see Fargo casting a forest fire. There's plenty of other trees that he can that he can chop down though. This this walk here probably only loses about 50 wood, so it's not that big of a deal. Maybe not even 50 wood. Probably less to be honest. So probably probably not. I don't know if I like the forest fire, but using it does give you a little bit of time to play with. Val coming down for Son of Arya and Raven, giving himself that nice hero citizen as well as the hero Termer and Mermillo. Medusa the town center is continuing to go up, so feeling very safe about that one. Taking town center for Bogs Viger. This is kind of what you want as Isis. If this was a 1v1 against the Thor, going for these fast two town centers, when you go for fast two town center, it does give you the option to go two town center all in and, pre and prevent the Ragnarok, because it's really hard for Norse to deal with that. But this is a team game. It's a lot harder to do those all-ins, especially if your partner comes over and helps. Um, so we'll see if Fargo can pull off the, uh, the two town center play against the, uh, the Isis Might. But right now, just spamming units, playing defensively. I like this from Myth of Ageology. I get the feeling that potentially he's a little bit outclassed in this game. Maybe got carried by Bogs Viger or something. Not sure. But... We'll see, uh, see what he's doing. He doesn't, you don't really need to fight in this matchup. Playing back and playing defensive is is, uh, is pretty big. Does he not have upgrades? He doesn't have pickaxe. That's why some of I is so far ahead. You need to get pickaxe out. It's vital. There it is. It's coming through. That's going to help out quite a bit. Um, but you can just defend as Aranos and, and, and play for late game. And, and let's be real. I don't think any... Arano's player can really punish that if you just sit in your base. Like, because you can just spam units out and sit, sit underneath tower fire. And even with like insane micro, you kind of still win. You can't force the fights. And now Son of Aya moving in. He's gonna, gonna actually get caught out a little bit here. Nice movement from uh, Myth of Ageology. Gonna make this, this fight be really nice. And he does get the hit first on the Mermilla. That was perfect. You want to attack. You want to attack the, the army and have the Termo attack at the same time, so the units are moving at the lowest speed, so the highest probability of hitting their target. You see, as they're running away, they miss every single one of those spears because they move fast enough. But if you get the the melee attack in and the archer attack in at the same time, it's really big. So nice little attack there. Fargo getting a uh, system of boss actually, which is really big. Fargo getting thrown down, and and this is just going to be spammy, spammy, spammy for Fargo. Spammy, spammy, spammy for Bogs Viger. Armory coming up. Second Monument coming up for Bogs Viger. So it's looking like potentially the Scorpion Men will be a thing here. We're also throwing up a Barracks. Might have to get some Axemen out in this game at some point. So just uh, playing around that one. Turning around, getting some getting some kills here. Nice pick off onto the Mermilla. Going to be trading a Terminal 3 for that. Oh, he runs the rest of them away. We like that. But turning around yet again... Going to be caught out a little bit with Fargo coming in and chasing him around. I'm going to be bringing him over to Bogs Viger's base. He's got no military to speak of. He does have some defenses with the Watchtower up. Even the Golden Lions coming in to say good day. Second Town Center now coming up for Myth of Ageology. No second Town Center for Son of Ayer and Raven. Population difference is 103 to 90 though. This is re reminiscent of what happened in the last game. Prosperity coming down though, and Myth of Ageology has got out himself out a Cairo Balliston now. So we'll see if that will be enough to force Son of Aya away. And Fargo is just going to be sitting over here and ready to start putting some pressure onto Myth of Ageology. Or maybe even catching these units out. You may be able to. If Bogsvaga doesn't, or sorry, if Myth of Ageology doesn't. Pay attention here, which he does. Oh, he just is not making the right decision there at all. Moving backwards and forwards there, trying to decide, am I going to retreat? Am I going to go back or not? But now the Odin, or sorry, the Uranus units can be taking down this Isis wall here. Going to be entering into Bogswagger's base, but Bogswagger just about to hit the heroic cage through Nephthys. We'll see what he does. Is there any possibilities for an instant ancestors? No, probably not. You're moving out and using the building the Migdol stronghold kind of in the middle of nowhere. He's asking for this to be taken down, to be honest. 
it kind of protects this gold mine, but he spots it with the Valkyrie, and these units should just immediately move over here. The Pharaoh coming in to pick off the uh, the Valkyrie. There are a couple of myth units here. Uh, Axemen out as well, but the Raining Cavalry immediately picked this one off. Pharaoh taking down, trying to take down the Valkyrie here. Now the Raining Cavalry making their way over onto this one here. And we've got Bogs Vigor having to deal with Son of Aya and having to deal with Fargo here. This is a huge Aranus army. They're going to be trying to take down this Midgar Stronghold. The villagers have to run away. Scorpion Man still alive. And he's going to start building out Camelry and Chariot Archers. Teal is nowhere to, be, to speak of because he's grabbing out his own second town center. And with Ageology, he's going to have to come over and help this. Otherwise, he's just going to lose all these units. Camelry coming out. Kind of needs to garrison them into his Migdol stronghold before he pops them out. Because putting them out one at a time is not going to help at all. But now Son of Aya and Raven getting his second town center and his third town center out as well at the same time. And all of these units from the Uranus player just barreling into this location. Probably going to force out an SS Eclipse. There's already a wall for him to run through. I mean, he, I guess he doesn't really need the Middle Stronghold, but it's going to help out quite a bit. And there's the Frost from Fargo. So this town, this Middle Stronghold looks like it's about to go down. And even if you cast Ancestors Eclipse here, it's going to be too much. Just building this Migdal Stronghold out in the middle of nowhere. It's not the right decision there for Bogsweiger. But he is making a lot of really good trades here. He's forced Frost uh, for the trade of the Migdal Stronghold. So it's kind of worth, so he doesn't lose too much. We do have Son of Aya getting, preventing or, or losing his town center here. Probably lost a citizen as well. So nice play there from Myth of Ageology. Picking that one off while this is all going on. Oxfager trying to get his Migdol stronghold back up. Uh, just going to be retreating away from these units here. But this is a lot to deal with. There's a good amount of units from Oxfager out though, so he's managed to get some out. Pharaoh probably needs to empower the Migdol stronghold though. Get that one up as soon as he possibly can. But right now, this is a. It's actually not a bad fight for uh, Myth Vigar to be taking here. But all of those hero Mermillo to take out those frost giants. So Fayarvin gonna have to get out of here right now. So nice job there, Siege Workshop coming up. Villagers trying to get the mining camp up as well. And the town center for Fargo is up right now. So three town center, untouched Thor. This is, this is how Thor wants to play. If Thor doesn't get touched, gets three town centers. He is gonna be an absolute menace here. These frost giants are gonna be difficult to deal with. You should probably think about getting the uh, the rhyme upgrade, frost giant of Thrym. This gives him so much more hit points. What is it? Uh, extra 33% HP when they already have a shit ton of HP, 600 HP already. So they go on, they go up to like what is it, up to 900 HP? Is that right? No, up to 800 HP. So. Very difficult to deal with. Son of Aya gets his third town center. Ancestors Eclipse has to get forced out. And you see him immediately run for the wall. As you get out of here. And there is like no siege towers out to speak of. But the army going to run through. Still got some Jarls here. Some Frost Giants and everything else. He'll fought over here picking these guys off. And that's some nice play so far. Being able to defend here. Now we've got Bogsvaya trying to take down the wall here. And the minions moving forward, ready to take everything out. Uh, but, but it's looking like this, uh, this attack, this wall is maybe not enough. Probably going to actually lose this town center. There's a lot of units here. And um, where are all the units for Son of Arya? He's only got a couple of guys here. I guess we've got some raids coming in, killing off the... Uh, Killing off the villagers who are trying to gather in the middle of the map. Losing a lot of these villagers. Making medium Contarius as well. But they are trying to push in. But the Frost Giants. Frost Giants are huge right now for Bogs for uh, Fargo. Able to defend against this. If he, can, uh, if he can do this at the very least. And Fargo trying as hard as he can to survive here. Against the might that is uh, Egyptian. But the Frost Giants is too much. Chaos going down though, as the army retreats a little bit early, doesn't get the Myth unit either, super unlucky there. But now Son of Ayur is just going to be punishing Myth of Ageology. 
He's got so many low melee here. He's just pushing forward with his um, with his heroic age. Bogswagger has to somehow get some damage done here. Uh, he's trying to pick off these these frost giant, but I don't think he has. He doesn't have um. He doesn't have. I can't think. Funeral rites. And there is the Balder and Myth of Ageology immediately resigns on seeing that. And Bogswagger taps out straight away afterwards. So GG. Well played by Far Yavin. Team Far Yavin. Fargo and son of Ayo and Ravin. Um, going to be the crown, the 2v2 uh, Smurf tournament champions. And that's GG. So super well played. Uh, maybe we get to reveal the Smurfs now, Kilty, and then I'll hop off. So let's check the Smurf reveal out, shall we?